Hello and welcome to the Lyman Wolf Podcast. I am your host, Raceland, and I'm joined today by my co-host, Nate. What's going on, dude? Uh, not much. Prepping to watch the new Scream movie tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Well, it's not tomorrow. It's Sunday, but <clears throat> but yes. Uh, oh, we... that's right. Today is not that day. Yes, yes, yes. So I, I'm a humongous Scream fan. I know you're not, but that's not why we're here today. We're not that here to true. talk about Scream. We're here to do something different. We're doing another wheel podcast. And this mm. time, we're going to be doing a little bit different of a wheel. If you notice on our screen, if, uh, by the way, I recommend going to our YouTube channel to watch these if you're listening on Spotify or Apple Pod because we have visuals as, uh, get, uh, bleh, We have visuals yet again for this <laughs> podcast. So what we're going to be doing is going to be called uh, You Can Only Keep One. What I mean is I have a wheel here, obviously you can see on the screen, of 10 places. And we're gonna, the first wheel we're going to do is fast food restaurants. So this is going to be our example. we got fast food restaurants. I'm going to spin the wheel three times for each of us. And out of the three choices you get, you can only keep one. And once you pick one, all other choices are eliminated forever. So it's not all going to be food. So say something has, like, movies or video games, or comic books, or something like that. No matter what the choice is, that is no longer an option ever again for you. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to spin the wheel, and you can only keep one. What's your thoughts? you think this might turn out well, or it might be a bust? I think it'll it'll turn out as well as we make it. And we're going to go into, we're going to try to go into, like, descripting why we keep it and why we'd not keep it. So it's not just like, I picked that because I like it. We don't want that. Yeah. We want we want some descriptions. So I'm gonna have you, you want to go first, Nate. I'm gonna have you go first. Sound good? Sounds good to me. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and spin this wheel, and you can only keep one. Here we go. And we're spinning, and we get Sonic. Okay. You're a big fan of Sonic. You get some weird stuff at Sonic. I know that. Uh, I am a fan of Sonic, yes. Yes, but you explain to the audience here what you you've. It's so embarrassing to order with you as Sonic. You'll order chili cheese buns. <laughs> explain yeah. to them what that is. So, I am not a fan of hot dogs. I don't really like them. <laughs> so, whenever I go to Sonic and I'm feeling like I want a chili based item, well, now I get a chili junior app but used to i would get a chili dog without the hot dog um and so basically the, just chili cheese bread that that's about it and guess who's ordering this because i'm the one driving and i have to explain can i get a chili cheese dog with no hot dog and the lady or the man is always like what <laughs> they're so confused <laughs> It's not that hard of an order. It's just um, so weird, dude. It's just so <clears throat> weird. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, so that's your first <laughs> option. I'm gonna spin again, see what else you get. You get do 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 White Castle. Easy. Alright, alright. You're two down, though you got one more to go. White Castle? I don't think you're a big fan of White Castle. I tried to, I tried oh. to balance, I tried to balance these with things I like and things you like. So, you might get so, some of mine. You might get some of yours. Who knows? So far, this is a very easy pick for me. Well, who knows? This might be like your favorite restaurant or something. That's true. It is on the list. Oh, oh, oh! McDonald's. McDonald's. Dang. All right. So those are your three choices: Sonic, uh, McDonald's, or uh, White Castles. You can only keep I'm, one. Okay, so I'm only keeping one. I am keeping Sonic. Uh, Sonic. I was really hoping it would hit Subway because I know that'd be a little harder for you. Yes, I don't really eat McDonald's very often, and I only get like one thing from there anyway. Yeah. I do not go to White Castle at all already, so I feel like I've already lost it in life. Um, <laughs> And Sonic has just a plethora of flavors to try. So, definitely Sonic. That is my go-to. Yeah, that makes sense for me. Your choices are pretty easy for me as well. Like, I don't really 
I I hate McDonald's. So that's an easy choice for me. But I'm about to spin, so we're gonna each one we're gonna take turns doing one wheel. So Sound good. for me, here we go. Let's see what I get. I eat fast food a lot because I am poor. Oh, good God. Panda Express. Nate, right. I got I got one of your choices. <laughs> yeah. I that's do not I don't like Chinese food, so that's an immediate write-off of no thank you. How how bad does that make you hurt, Nate, knowing I don't like Chinese food? Doesn't hurt me at all, cause that just means more for me. My wife loves Chinese food and she's so sad every time I tell her that. I I'm honestly not a big fan of like normal Chinese food. Yeah. I, and Express is most fast food is not oh. really like regular. Oh, Chick Fil A. Chick Fil A. Okay, <laughs> now we're getting to my stuff. Here we go. The stakes have risen. Oh yes. Now there's only one option that can knock this out. Let's see if Let's I see get, if you it. get it. Yep. Yeah. Oh man, I love Chick Fil A. I love Chick Fil A. Oh. Okay. <laughs> what did I say earlier? I absolutely hate McDonald's. <laughs> yep. Uh, so, yeah, you got mm. a real easy pick on this one. Oh, boy, this was real tough. Um, I'm going to go with Chick-fil-A. <laughs> I hate McDonald's. Chick-fil-A is a jam. What was my first one again? It was... You had... Uh, a Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, and I had... What was the third one? Panda McDonald's. Express. Panda Express. Oh, yeah, Panda Express. Two things I don't like and one thing I love. Well, <laughs> I think that's I think that's an easy pick on the fast food category. <laughs> yeah, the fast food one was very easy for both of us. <laughs> I was hoping it'd be a little bit more balanced, but it just, it just didn't end up that way. Fate decided against it. <laughs> so now we're going to move on to the next wheel. All right, we're moving on to the next wheel, Nate. And the next wheel I have is movies from the years. What I mean is that I'm going to spin the wheel, and you can, again, only pick one. That means you can only watch movies that came out in these years. So you land on the 90s, only movies from the 90s. You land on the 2000s, you can only watch movies from the year 2000 to 2009. Or 2010, I guess. So any, anytime between there and so on, you get the idea. Okay, this one's an interesting one. Well, I was, like I said, I got a bunch of wheels, a bunch of different styles of topics and stuff, so I thought this would be pretty fun. So, yes, you can only select movies from these years. I think this is going to be a little harder for you because you don't know when movies came out. Yeah. But you better, gonna, figure, it, you better figure it out, Nate. <laughs> I'm going to have to do some research on this one while I don't know. we do this. I don't know. You might just have to take some guesses. All right, here we go. I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and spin your first one. All right. Here we go. I hope you, you – on the last podcast, you mentioned how you like older movies. So let's see. Movies in the 80s. There we go. We just did a podcast talking about 80s movies. So you know exactly what we got there. Yeah. All right, so – what what you think on the '80s so far? That's a pretty solid choice, right? Yeah, '80s is a pretty good one, honestly. Though, um, just like the only one it would beat on this wheel would be probably be '70s. So. So you're saying '70s would be the one that you don't want? Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see what you get. Yeah. <laughs> you're gonna get '70s twice. No, I'm just kidding. You are getting. The 2000s! Okay. The 2000s, early 2000s had lots of good movies. Lots and lots of great movies. You got, you know, all the American Pies came out in the 2000s. Got, you know, all of the, uh, all the sequels to The Matrix and stuff like that. Those are really bad, those are really bad examples, but I can't think of any off the top of my head. Hellboy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Oscar Riddick. Yeah, you got lots of real good choices Spider-Man there. Spider-Man 2. Oh, all the original Spider-Mans came out in the 2000s. Oh, that's right. Cranks and City. You just you just Googled 2000s movies, didn't you? Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, boy. 
Alright, so let's see what you're going to be head pitting it against. 80s, 2000s, and... Oh, I hope you get 2010s. Oh, no! The 70s, seven. okay. Uh, <laughs> so, 2000s, 80s, and 70s. <laughs> uh, what you going to pick there, Dave? Alright, so... 70s seven. is a clear loser. Yeah, that, that one's out. <laughs> Um, but, uh, 80 or the eighties and two thousands are almost equal in terms oh. of how many movies I like. And I keep mean, in like, mind, keep in mind, if you pick one, uh, you can never see the, any of the others ever again. So you pick eighties and that means no seventies, nineties, two thousands, two thousand cents, or anything coming out in the future. You okay, are stuck. So... You are stuck to those years. I'm going to go with early 2000s. Okay. Um, okay. Because both of my favorite movies came out in the early 2000s, apparently. And what would so, that be? Uh, the first one, my all time favorite movie, is Moulin Rouge. Oh, a, God. Yeah, romantic <laughs> drama, or drama. That sounds horrendous. <laughs> sprinkle of comedy in. Okay. Uh, and Stardust. Both of them. I've never are, heard of that movie either. Stardust. Oh, you might like Stardust. It has the actor from Daredevil. He's the main character. Oh, Ben it. Affleck. Uh, no. The, the, oh, the, the show you keep trying oh. to get me to watch. <laughs> the Daredevil, the Daredevil TV show. My bad. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Charlie Cox, I think his yes, name is. Yeah, Charlie Cox. He is the main character in that movie, so you might like it. Okay. With, Maybe uh, Robert De Niro. I I might check it out if it's on the podcast. I highly recommend you watch it with your wife. <laughs> okay, I might. Uh, All right. Yeah, so that that is a clear sweep for me because I thought it'd be a lot closer. Well, eight, it is a lot closer because there are a ton of '80s movies that I like. Um, it just happens to be that all my favorite movies seem to be in like the 2000s. Now, so. Nate, if it would have been '90s versus 2000s, it would have been much harder. Probably because I think that is when like movies like Wayne's World came out. Yeah, nineties uh, is whenever like like Groundhog Day and yeah, those, all those, those all those really awesome comedies that came out in the nineties. Yeah, well, not like my favorites. They are <laughs> for me like have to watch. So, right. Well, hey, yeah, who knows? That'd be a lot better for me. I'm about to spin for me, and what if I get eighties versus nineties? It's going to be very very tough. Let's see. Let's see indeed. Oh, God. Please don't be don't be super hard. Don't be super hard. Oh, no! The 2010s! Okay. The 2010s has a lot of good movies. The, right off the bat, I think of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. I think that came out in 2010. Or maybe it was 29. I don't even know if that counts. I don't know which what year it came out. Uh, go ahead and roll it. Yeah. I will... Check it out real quick. Because that, if that's, man, that's one of my favorite movies. 2010. Oh, no, that counts. Oh, no. Right All right. on there. Right on there. All right. What's it going against? 2010s versus the 2000s. Oh, man. Dude, if I get the 1980s, I'm going to have a three way struggle here. That's for sure. Yeah. Uh, that, that, so far, <laughs> your pick is a lot harder for me. Oh, yeah. I don't know, 90s and 80s are both, like, really tough to pick for. Mm. Okay, yeah, it's a clear sweep of not the 70s. Yeah. Like, the 70s had... The, the 70s it. had the Warriors. That's my favorite movies from the 70s, so... Other than I'm, that, every other movie is like, it's okay, you know? <laughs> see, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna look at 70s movies real quick, just to see if well, there was Hang on, hang on, hang on. on. We might do a podcast later in the future talking about 70s movies. So let's let's hold off on that. I'm just for my own personal. Oh, okay. So I've got the 2010s, the 2000s, and the 1970s. Yes. Oh, man. Okay, so what big hits came out in the 2010s? Uh, let's see here. We have Psych the Movie. Like... Uh, no, stuff that people <laughs> care about, Nate. Uh, Deadpool 2. Oh, the Deadpool movies. Oh, all the, all the Avengers and Marvel stuff came out in 20, yep. 2010s. Oh, no. 
Yep, you would be missing out <laughs> on the MCU. That sucks. Oh, that just like now now I'm torn because it's like all the great movies I grew up on were in the 2000s, but all the movies I like as an adult came out in the 2010s. Like Venom. Oh man. No, well, 2010s or is that 2020s? Venom is 2010. Ah, bummer. Well, te- 2018. So okay, yeah, so counts. Yeah, man. Yeah. Oh man, I sh- I should have put 2020s on the list. I didn't even think about putting that on there. I'm just not used to it. Yeah, we often forget that we're in. <laughs> right. The future. I totally should have put that on there, because that would have been oh that would have been a good choice too, because that would have been like anything upcoming to 2020 or 2030 basically. And you'd have to like you'd be cutting off part of the MCU. <laughs> <laughs> you only get one half. Yeah. All right. You know what? Call me crazy. I'm going to go with 2010s. Okay. As much That's as I, I love the 20s or 20s, 2000s, because it had some of my favorite movies growing up. But 2010s, like I said, had the MCU, a ton of like really awesome, just overall just really good, funny movies. I, so, I, can't, I can't miss out on that. So I'm looking at... Uh, movies in the 2010s and they've like listed them through by genres yeah 2010s action fantasy movies are nothing but superhero movies yeah of course 2010s <laughs> was the era of superheroes like 2008 gave us the iron man and they were like what can we do with that i know build an entire universe in the 2020 2010 yep. god i can't talk <laughs> so yes uh, i would go okay. with the 2010s all right nate we're moving on to the next wheel and if you could see what the wheel says this one's gonna be a little tough i feel like i'm noticing a lot of video games oh yes these are video game franchises that means whatever you pick you can no longer play any of the other franchises you are stuck to that franchise okay and if you noticed it's kind of a blend between (laughs) things you like and things i like yeah, I see at <laughs> least three on here that I could easily do without. I may or may not have gone back to our previous video about our favorite franchises and stole things from that. That's fine. <laughs> so, Recycling is always a good thing. <laughs> so yeah, the, you you may get three things I like, and you're just like, oh, I'm stuck with this. Or you might get, well, your favorite one. Well, you're like, oh, hey, cool, Awesome. I can see three that are clearly yours. And <laughs> oh yeah, which one? One? <laughs> of them, one of them, I can easily pick over the other two, so I'll be fine. All right, well, let's see what you get. Luck of the draw here, spinning the wheel. Oh boy, Nate, what are you gonna get? Oh, okay. <laughs> that's one of them. I feel like that you could just eliminate. <laughs> Yep, Sonic the Hedgehog. I really wanted it to land on Fallout. I was really hoping it would. (laughs) Okay, next one. All right, the next one you get. Oh, boy, Nate. I hope it gets something you really like. Two things you really like. That would suck. Fable! (laughs) Okay. So far, I'm safe. Oh, boy. Come on. Give me one of Nate's. It's like a gambling. We're gambling addicts all of a sudden. I do have an addictive personality, so I don't gamble in real life. <laughs> yes! <laughs> These are the two I wanted you to get, Nate. <laughs> okay. So, Sonic is already out. Oh, uh, how could you do that to Sonic, bro? So, really, it's just up between Red Dead Redemption and Fable franchises. Yep. And, and keep in mind, you can, you can never play any other franchises if you pick this. Okay. Then I'm going to go with Fable. Okay. Uh, as much as I love Red Dead Redemption um, and everything, it is only two games. The For franchise, now. The franchise does not seem to be getting any love from Rockstar at all. I don't know, man. Uh, Remember when they did Red Dead like Undead or whatever? You could play the zombie stuff. They did that for the first game. <laughs> yeah. And they have... Ever since then, pretty much ignored their second game. They have gone full Grand Theft Auto. (laughs) I Uh, know they have. Fable, on the other hand, 
has four games and well, actually more than four games uh, and is coming out with a new game. So Fable is actually a pretty easy pick for me. What if it was Fable versus Saints Row? Would that have been tougher? Oh, definitely. Uh, Damn, 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 damn. But still, like, Red Dead is Mm -hmm. tough. It's the only reason that makes it easy is simply because the company has given up on Red Dead. Yeah, Uh, I was hoping to get Red Dead because you've been playing the crap out of Red Dead recently. I am, yes, I am currently playing it and loving the storyline. I loved the online mode. Uh, But, like I said, the only thing that made this a clear winner is simply because Fable is getting a new game. Whereas Red Dead, the company seems to have abandoned the franchise. Which is sad, because like it, I'm not the biggest fan of Red Dead, but at least I know how popular it is. And the fact yeah. that they just kind of are like, oh, we're done with that. Yeah, I've seen too many franchises that happening to. Very depressing. Yeah. But right. easy pick for me. Okay. I feel like I'm going to either get really good ones or I'm just going to get all of yours. <laughs> so yeah. let's find out. Oh boy, they give me my three of them. Oh man. Uh, uh. Okay. okay. That's one of yours. I know it is. I have a Sonic the Hedgehog tattoo. I love Sonic okay. the Hedgehog. But the thing about Sonic, and I can't deny it, as much as I love the franchise, there's some stinkers out there. So, <laughs> overall, like the, the, this is one franchise I love, but I know is not consistently putting out amazing games all the time. Yeah. So, so let's see what we get as my second pick. Oh boy, I feel like it's gonna be something crazy. Oh no, <laughs> Kingdom Hearts! For yours, yeah. Oh man. So, this is the one I would have been like, okay, this is the clear pick out of your three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would wanna play this one if I had to get your three. I'm gonna tell you right now, there's only one franchise that will beat this. If I get it, it's gonna be tough. Let's see. Oh god. I feel like you know what it is. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Okay, that's fine. Oh, you're safe. <laughs> you were almost, though. Uh, and it kept going just a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If it would have gotten Pokemon, that would have been the clear-cut winner. It would have been tough because knowing I could never play Kingdom Hearts again, especially when there's a Kingdom Hearts 4 coming out. Yep. But we all know what I'm picking here. I've never played Fable I don't even remember what my first pick was. It was Fable, Kingdom Hearts, and Sonic, Sonic. the Hedgehog. Yeah. All right. I love Sonic, like I said before. It's a franchise that's had stinkers. Even the new Sonic game, I might get some flack for this. I'm not the biggest fan of it. Like the open zone Sonic game, Sonic Frontiers. Just wasn't, mm-hmm. I wasn't a huge fan of that. So clear-cut winners, Kingdom Hearts, everything Kingdom Hearts. Nate, we should try to uh, put out a video of us explaining the lore of Kingdom Hearts. Uh, you do that, buddy. <laughs> no, no, we. We're, we do that. <laughs> I don't understand the lore <laughs> at all. Fans of the show don't, or the, of the game don't even understand it. Yeah. <laughs> it's so I complicated. After, I stopped playing after the second game. When I see on YouTube people like making dedicated videos explaining the lore of the game, the, the videos are like, an hour and a half long because it's such complicated there's so much to compact in that in this franchise especially if you get all the mobile games involved and stuff yeah okay it, so i didn't stop it because i think i started playing uh one of the mobile games as well yeah the mobile games are see see i'm, I'm torn because like i play some of the mobile games and i'm like i'm not a big fan of them because i don't enjoy the ca- the gameplay of it so it's like, but then you realize, oh, great, it's all tied into the lore. So it's like, it's either you have to play it or you have to YouTube the lore of the mobile game. Yeah. Uh, Kingdom Hearts Union Dark Road. That's the one. the one. I played Kingdom Hearts Union. That's what I played. Yeah. But yeah. It's- so I'm picking Kingdom Hearts because I love this franchise. I have a Kingdom Hearts tattoo, so I feel like I'm <laughs> obligated to pick it. But I also have a Sonic tattoo, so I, I don't know. Yeah, this... <laughs> Kingdom Hearts would be the clear winner for me simply because I do love the aesthetic of the game. I love Disney, so I love the fact that you can go to different Disney worlds. Right. Uh, so it would be the clear winner for me, even if you had gotten Pokemon, because... Nate, you, that's your clear winner. Like, Pokemon no. is your winner. You love Pokemon. 
Uh, when I was younger, I did. And then as I got older, I realized, hey, this is the same game. What if it would have been Fable versus Fortnite? Fable, easily. But, but Fortnite continues on. Like, they always so does, Fortnite will always be a thing. Yeah, but Fable's getting a new game. I do not want to miss this new game. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Uh, I get really, you. Really, the only thing that might have beaten Fable uh, out of this would have been Dragon Age. Okay. And that is, again, because they're getting a new game. That's it. <laughs> yeah, if you were to have been stuck on, like, a bunch of older games. What if it was, like, Saints Row versus Dragon Age? Would that have been tougher? No, because, again, Dragon Age is getting a new game. Saints Row just got a new game, but I have not played it yet. It is didn't still I hear full that... of tons of bugs. Yeah, didn't I hear that it wasn't very good? Uh, it Like, people were disappointed with it, but only from what I've seen, because it doesn't have the original cast. No, well, that's understandable. Because... People yeah, don't like reboot. reboots. People don't like reboots. Um, and also, like I said, there are a ton of bugs in it. I'm waiting for them to get patched out or fixed before I step into it. Okay. All right, well, I guess we'll move on to the next wheel. All right, the next wheel, Nate. You see a theme on this one? Uh, looks like edible stuff. Edible food. We are doing junk food. This is... Okay going to be a tough one i feel like because we are everybody on the planet loves junk food and just think like we've said with the theme <clears throat> you can only keep one that means say you get french fries or you get pizza you'll never get soda or chips or snack cakes ever again there is a clear winner out of all of these oh is uh, there oh so. now this one you got to think versatile though because say you get pizza that means you pick pizza, you can't put bacon on your pizza ever again. You can't put any kind of what? like any Yeah, it's bacon's on here. So if you get pizza but that makes no sense. No, no, no. Bacon is a part of a pizza. No, because bacon is on the list. If it's on the list, I said in the beginning, if it's on this wheel, that means you can't have to eliminate everything else on the wheel. That's fine. I don't put bacon on my pizza very <laughs> often anyway. Who knows? You might not even get pizza. Let's find out right now. All right, Nate, what are you going to get? Oh, boy, are you nervous? Not at all. <laughs> you get pie. Okay. You like uh, pie? Yeah, I love pie. What's your favorite pie? Uh, triple berry pie. Triple berry. Is that like a pie that has multiple berries in it? Yeah, it's like blackberry, raspberry, and I think strawberry. Out of all the pies, that's what you pick? I'm su that's just surprising to me. I like berries. Um, I, I'm a sucker for pecan pie. Like, you can't... Oh, man. I, I hate pecan pie. Oh, I love pecan pie. Pecan pie any time of the year is for me. All right. Yeah. What is going against pie? We are getting... Oh, another one you don't like. <laughs> awesome. Pie. Gonna work. <laughs> Yeah, I put that one on there because I love popcorn, but you don't. You stated you do not like popcorn. I hate popcorn. Uh, <laughs> I know you do. Damn it. I'm just wanting a tough one for you. Thanks for making this podcast very easy. For me. <laughs> Shut up, Nate. <laughs> this is supposed to be different. I should have had like the things I put on here for me and the things I put on there for you. I should have had them separate wheels, but oh well. Who cares? <laughs> All right, what's, what's your final thing, Nate? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, it's candy. Ooh, okay, that actually is very... Uh... No, nah, I'm just kidding. Candy. Oh, you're keeping candy over pie. Yeah. Explain. Yeah, I, explain why. I eat a Twix almost every single day. Um, that sounds really healthy, Nate. I am not a healthy human being. I can't at say all. much. I eat chocolate almost every day too. Uh, I eat a Twix. I'll eat. I'll just eat a bunch of candy. So, or I used to not like candy actually. Um, and now it's your number one. <laughs> yeah, when I when I was a kid during Halloween, I'd give my candy away. Oh, what a weird kid! Um, and prefer fruit and apples and stuff. You are the weirdest person I've ever met. Never. And then I that? grew. Then I grew up into a child, uh, and I love candy now. So, 
Yeah. What's your What's your favorite candy? Is it Twix? Uh, currently, it's Twix. I fluctuate quite a bit. Like a, every two or three months, I'll switch to another candy just for the different flavors and whatnot. Man, you can't you can't go like Reese's like normal people. I actually not a big fan of Reese's. Uh, uh, I like um, Reese's Pieces. See, if I'm going to go with that, I'd rather do chalk, uh, peanut butter M&M's. Don't like peanut butter M&M's. Oh, Nate, we disagree so much on candy. We do. All right. So, well, that's what makes us such good friends. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sure, that's it. It's our candy choices. It's what makes us such friends. <laughs> yep. All right, let's see what I get. My three are... I get... No, 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 no. Oh, I was hoping it'd be bacon. Okay. All right. So the thing about ice cream for me, I'm not the biggest ice cream guy. So okay. pretty much guarantee that's not going to win. I was hoping to be bacon because at least it'd be a little tougher. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I got bacon. Well, bacon. there's only one thing that will... Well, there's a couple of things. There's two things on here that'll tip the scale for bacon. All right. So, I'm, what's up? Uh, bacon actually is like by itself. Oh. One of the lowest things for me. Oh. Oh, here we go. Now this is this yeah. is tough. Snack cakes. Oh man, I love that, I love snack cakes so much. That probably would have been a good contender for uh, candy, oh man. Oh man, dude! I was really for you. I was really hoping you get snack cakes, candy, and pizza. That was gonna. Those are oh, the pizza. three. Oh, really? Pizza would have won. Pizza is the clear winner on all of these. Well, when I googled junk food to see what like examples came up, pizza was like one of the top things. But they also put burgers, and I was like, I'm not putting burgers on this list. Yeah, I don't eat much burgers. Well, burgers uh, I don't consider junk food. When I think junk food, I think of like snacks you can eat at your desk or like. In your yeah. bed playing video games or whatever. Yeah, I, I get you. So I got snack cakes, well, bacon, and then ice cream. ice cream. Ice cream's completely out. That's easily out. It wouldn't. If out of the list though, I think my wife would say ice cream. But me, hmm. Call me crazy. I am gonna go snack cakes. As much <laughs> as I love bacon. There are substitutes to bacon. You could put bacon... Anything that has bacon on it, you could substitute with some other meat. But snack cakes? Shit. No way am I getting rid of snack cakes. can't substitute bacon out of a BLT. You sure you can. But sausage. It, it's BLS. literally a sandwich. Or a it's bacon SLB. SLB. <laughs> like, that, it is the sandwich. A bacon lettuce tomato. Like, that well, is, good thing I don't like BLT, so it doesn't really matter, okay? <laughs> BLTs, I don't like mayonnaise, so I'm all I'm already out on BLT. You don't have to put mayonnaise on a BLT. Then it's all dry the as hell. You need some other kind of sauce on there. You can put any sauce you want. A BLT literally just needs bacon, lettuce, tomato. That's it. Okay, that so is, go ahead. That is a BLT. You can put any other sauce on there. It's not going to make it not a BLT. So there's a dude at my work who thinks I'm the weirdest person ever. Because when we go to, like, say, Subway or something like that, I will get a turkey and ham sandwich with bacon, and I will put <clears throat> barbecue sauce on it. And he thinks it's the weirdest thing ever. Is that weird? Mm, do you, like, lettuce or anything on yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, put, I put lettuce and... Um, a tomato and pickles, but yeah, I put no, that, I put yeah, barbecue weird. sauce on there. Yeah, no, that that is kind of weird. Ah, oh, come right. on, barbecue sauce is like my favorite like sauce. So barbecue sauce and vegetables just don't compute. It does for me. Anytime I make a sandwich, I put barbecue sauce on it. Like if I make like a if I make like a chicken sandwich at home, I'll get like a chicken spice like a spicy chicken patty. And I'll put like tomato and bacon. And pickles on it, and then barbecue sauce. It's the vegetables that make it not work. <laughs> but how is that different than putting ketchup on a burger that has pickles on it? How is that any different? Ketchup isn't barbecue sauce. It's barbecue sauce has ketchup in it. 
Just because you have ingredients of something doesn't mean it's the same thing. Nate, I don't think it's that weird, okay? I, that's you, man. I'm just <laughs> telling you, to me, it's weird. It's not any better than there's one of my managers at my job one time. I saw him go into the fridge, and with a, he pulled out a cold slice of pizza and didn't heat it up or anything. He took a bottle of ketchup and squirted it on there and just ate, ate it like that. And I looked at him, I go, what the hell are you doing? He's like... I don't have time to heat it up. And I'm like, so you put ketchup on cold pizza? Is that weird? That's freaking weird to me. I mean, I I wouldn't do it, but hey, I, I wouldn't put barbecue sauce on lettuce <laughs> either. So oh, that's it's just all... the weird. That was probably the weirdest thing I ever saw at my job, food wise. Weirdest thing. Yeah, this is pretty much why I stay home and never <laughs> interact with society. That's a healthy way to live. Yep. <laughs> all right so that's the junk food wheel all right nate we are moving on to the next wheel and you have any idea of what we're doing here uh it looks like franchises that's right we're doing yep. franchises and that means say you get marvel or dc or transformers or anything like that that is not just movies that is anything to do with them so there's comic books video games only can keep those. So you okay. get Lord of the Rings versus Marvel. That means you can't read Marvel comics. You can't re- play Marvel video games. Lord of the Rings, same thing. You can only play Marvel vid- or Lord of the Rings video games. Stuff like that. Okay. So let's see what you get. First one you get, Nate. Transformers. Okay. I put that on there because I figured it was the one that we equally liked, so I yeah. just threw it on there. Yeah. So Transformers. I, I Transformers. That means that's cartoons as well, so you can also watch the old cartoons. Cartoons, comics, movies, action there, figures. Are, are there Transformers comic books? Yes. I did not know that. That's actually pretty cool. They uh, do. There's also like a bunch of crossover comics between Transformers, G.I. Joe's, uh, Batman or DC because I think they did it to where Bat the Batmobile became a Transformer. Well, as long as Transformers are in it, you can you can read it. So if it has a crossover, that's fine. Transformers has got to be in it. Uh, Transformers it was like Fortnite for a while, so yeah, I'm good with that. <laughs> okay, all right. See what your second pick is. Uh 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 oh! <laughs> is it gonna be one of them? It is. Okay. One of the big three that are on this list, Marvel. Oh, man. I wonder where you're going with this one, Nate. That's a tough one. That is a tough one. If you get DC Comics, you're in a little bit of trouble, dude. Let's see what your final choice is. Your final choice is James Bond. Okay, so this is actually, again, super easy for me. God Uh, damn it, Nate. (laughs) I'll uh I'll go ahead and go with Marvel. <sighs> I wanted Sin- it to be Marvel, DC, and Disney. That's what I wanted. Or and Star since, Wars. <laughs> uh since you said that crossovers count, I still get Transformers because I think Transformers did a crossover with Marvel. God God damn it, Nate. <laughs> uh, this has just been a walk in the park for me. This Shut up, time. Nate. Oh, I wanted this to go so much harder. And it's not. It's not going the way I wanted it to. <laughs> Fine uh, by me. No James Bond? You don't want to continue the James Bond thing and just watch uh, all the Bond movies? I watched all of the Pierce Brosnan movies, and I think the only thing I will miss out on is... Oh, uh, does fan-made stuff count? Hmm. I'm going to go with... I'm going to go with no. That doesn't count. Then I won't even miss out on that because, like the only the thing I really like about James Bond is his lines in the epic rap battle between him and <laughs> Austin Powers. So. That's what you take away from James Bond. Yeah, like I watched all the Pierce Brosnan movies. I watched a couple of the Sean Connery movies, and I think I watched one uh, of the newer movies with Daniel Craig. So Daniel and, Craig is James Bond, right? Yes, I'm. I've just never really got into James Bond 
uh, I was more of a Mission Impossible guy. You know, so. I think the only James Bond movie I've ever seen is Casino Royale. Is that that's a movie, right? Yes, that yeah. I believe Daniel Craig. Yeah, yeah, and I don't remember a single minute of it. I just remember I saw it. Yeah, like nothing. Like James Bond's a good character, uh, but I was always just more into Ethan Hunt's adventures rather than James Bond's. Oh, yeah. Uh, I don't know who that is, so that doesn't uh, affect yeah. me. All right. So yeah, yours this was a is walk in the park. Crazy. Ugh, mine is gonna be probably like super insanely hard. Let's find out. I'm probably gonna get like Marvel, DC, and Disney or something. <laughs> Jurassic Park. Oh, well, I know it's a li- a ri- uh, immediately getting eliminated. <laughs> Jurassic yeah. Park slash World. Um, the original Jurassic Park movies were good. The Jurassic World movies are terrible. So easy pick. <laughs> I hate the Jurassic the Jurassic World movies. The first one was moderate at best. It was okay. The sequel I... was probably one of the worst dinosaur movies I ever saw. So yeah. Easy I have pick. liked all of them. You like the Jurassic World movies? Yeah. Really? I've liked all the Jurassic movies. Like the Jurassic like, Park movies are great. I like the original cast of the original movies. I don't like the cast of the Jurassic World movies at all. Like what especially what's her name? The the the, the, the girl with the, the red hair. The the oh, main chick. Yeah. She is so annoying. I can't stand her at all. Like, she almost kills the movie. Anyways, that's my first pick. Let's see what I get for my second pick. My second pick is... <laughs> so far, a clear winner. Oh, yeah? That's why I've been really tough between Jurassic Park and uh, Marvel, man. I don't know. Because Marvel is all of comics, all of movies, all of video games. <laughs> Yeah, Midnight Suns. Midnight Suns. <laughs> Anybody who hasn't played that, go play it. It's an amazing Marvel game. No! All right, still Marvels. Marvel's going to win. But I am a huge sucker for the Transformers movies. I love the Transformers movies. I like how we both ended up picking Marvel. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, what, if it was Marvel versus DC, would it have been tougher? Yes. Uh... Well, no, actually, it wouldn't be. So, yeah. Why? Why would you not pick DC? Because once again, you said crossovers count, and Marvel and DC have had crossovers. Yeah, but anything that's not a crossover, you cannot read if it's not DC. That's fine. I don't really read too many DC comics. You read uh, more Carmel? Carmel. Marvel? Yes. Um, Surprising. I Batman's your favorite hero. He is tied with my favorite, my other favorite heroes, which is uh, Wolverine. Yeah, Spawn, Wolverine, and Batman are all tied together. So, would Wolverine and Batman, like, if you had to pick between the one, would you be able to make a choice? Uh, pro- not really, because, <laughs> like, yes, I would be able to, but uh, it would have to be specific versions of them. <laughs> Like not overall because what about both characters have been massive douchebags, uh, especially in like more modern takes because they make Batman way more paranoid. They make Wolverine way more uh, just of a dick, uh, especially to Scott. And um, I liked it when there like there are versions of them where they are like wise and good at being just good guys so we can both agree though nate the best version of them is dark claw no no we can't um (laughs) look anybody who wants to see a (laughs) amalgamation combo character of wolverine and batman combined together go look up dark claw it is it is something (laughs) it is something yeah, so that was the franchises. I was really hoping it would go a lot harder, and um, <laughs> it didn't. It did not go that way, unfortunately. So we just ended up both picking Marvel. Not even going to give me a Disney or a Star Wars. Come on, man. 
Uh, Disney would have probably given it a run for its money. That's why I specifically put on the list of like it has to be non Marvel and Star Wars because I wanted it to be its own thing. Yeah, Disney might have given it a run for money because. But no, we got Jurassic Park. And what, what did you get? You got something really stupid. James Bond. <laughs> yeah, James Bond. Uh, cool. <laughs> Yeah, no. Uh, so far, none of my picks have been too hard. So, ah, this sucks. All right, awesome. Move on to the next one. All right, Nate. Next wheel. Any idea what this one's about, Nate? None. None <laughs> whatsoever. I may have specifically made this wheel just for you. Okay. Seeing as that you're a big stand for cheese, you love cheese. I do. So love I was like, cheese. hmm. How can we make this one an actual tough one for you, Nate? Uh, I hate to tell you this, but it's probably going to be a walk in the park, too. No, it won't be. It's going to be so tough. That first off, there is a clear winner on this. So I know what it is, and I hope you don't get it. <laughs> if I get it. <laughs> don't get it, Nate. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take it off the list. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's hope you don't get it. Here we go. Here. Don't get it. Please don't get it. For the love of God, don't get it. <laughs> don't do it. Don't do me dirty. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, okay. Solid pick. oh, my God. I thought it was going to get him for a second. <laughs> Again, keep in mind, if you pick cheddar, you cannot have any other cheeses. I know. It, it is difficult. You got cheddar is your first pick. Your second pick better not be the one. It is Feta! You, uh, you misspelled it, by the way. I don't care. Everybody knows what it is. <laughs> Shut up. That's feta cheese. Feta's Not used... feta, by the way. What is it? Moonster is what I'm talking about. I know. I know what you're talking okay. about. Okay. I'm say You said I... Sp what did I spell wrong? There's an N in Moonster. Did I not put the N? No. Oh, my bad. I thought, you meant, okay. I thought you were saying I misspelled feta. I'm like, how did that, I misspell feta? <laughs> that's what I was saying. Is like, I'm not talking about feta. I'm talking about another name that you misspelled. Well, feta is normally good in like pasta and stuff usually, yes. right? Yeah. So yes. imagine. It's more of a specialist cheese. rather. Imagine than pasta with no feta cheese. That would suck. I mean, I can easily. I, yeah. I just use cheddar. Right. Uh, so you got cheddar and you got feta. What is your final cheese? You get Gouda. Uh, so yeah, another walk in the park for me then. Fuck. Uh, go with cheddar. Yeah, cheddar is pretty obvious the answer because it's like usable and almost everything. Yeah, uh, Gouda is obviously good and feta it's is Gouda. good. <laughs> yeah. But they're both specialized cheeses. They are for specific dishes that I would have. Cheddar is something I can put on pretty much <laughs> anything, and it's going to turn out well. Is there any cheeses that would have been really tough to pick between? Uh, mozzarella would have given cheddar a run for its money. Okay. Um, provolone also. So here's a question. Provolone and Swiss are almost identical. What would you rather have? Probably provolone. Same. Uh, Swiss has a slightly <laughs> more like bite to it. Um, I just realized I didn't even put pepper jack on here. What the hell is wrong with me? Yeah, pepper jack would have been an immediate loser. Yeah, pepper jack's my favorite cheese. Why the? F Why didn't I put pepper jack on here? Go ahead and add it real quick. Nah. You know what? It I is am. Your it cheese, is my yeah. turn, and I don't like. I don't my don't like Munster. That way you misspelled it. Yep. <laughs> I'm gonna misspell pepper jack too. How can you not love the saltiness? I don't know. I don't. Munster. I don't like Munster. I, it just so. And at, because of you, of telling me when we first started being friends, you were like, "Oh, new Munster cheese is the best." Blah, blah, blah. So I started getting it just to try it, and I was like, "This is bland as hell." It, it's salty as heck. No, it's bland as hell. There's almost no taste to it. Then you did not get Munster cheese. Munster I cheese did. is like the salty, one of the saltiest cheeses nah, I have nah. ever had. Wrong. That's okay. You got cheddar. You got the yep. easiest freaking one on here. No, Monster would be the easiest, but no, cheddar, cheddar is the most versatile. Second. It's the most versatile cheese on this list. That is 
Yeah, it is It is the Swiss army knife of cheeses. No, Swiss would be the Swiss army knife. No, sadly not. <laughs> Just right, like okay. Greenland, it is misnamed. Yes. So let's see what I get. I get... Oh! Okay. As you stated earlier, Feta is very specific on pasta and other stuff. I'm not going to so miss out on Feta there that much. Yeah. You'd have to get, like, either Havarti or Gouda to really be like, hmm, that would be a tough one. <laughs> right. Now, if I remember right, Feta cheese is those cheese you could put in, like, the sh- those giant shells that you can get. And they, like, they mm-hmm. stuff it in, in the shells. That's the Feta cheese, right? You Yeah. Well, you can do that with pretty much... I know, but that's what, like, if you order that at a restaurant, that's what you That is a very crumbly cheese. Yeah, it's the crumbly cheese. Okay. Feta cheese is also one that they use on, like, salads and stuff. Yes. Okay. All right. So, easy, easy out is feta. Hopefully give me two really tough ones to actually have a fucking choice on. Okay. All right. Swiss is a good choice. I do love me Swiss cheese. It's really good on like turkey. Okay. Or like a like a like a chicken sandwich. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's see. Last one, Swiss cheese. What are you going against, Swiss cheese? Oh no, dude. Parmesan. Parmesan is like a key component to like almost all pastas. Yeah. Oh boy! <laughs> oh no! You know what? I'm gonna go Parmesan. Like Swiss is great for sandwiches, but dude, I will take pasta over sandwiches any day of the freaking week, and I need Parmesan cheese in my pasta. On one hand, I would agree. On the more practical side, I would go with Swiss simply because I eat more sandwiches than I do pasta. Oh, see, on the opposite, I eat more pasta than I do sandwiches. Because the reason why is in my household, we make pasta, and that'll last us for, like, three days of leftovers. Okay. So that's why. So here's a question for you, though. So what cheese would be the worst on this list? Like, if you were to... Pepper Jack. Okay, take off Pepper Jack, because I added that for me. (laughs) Uh, Probably Gouda. Gouda? Yeah. Like, Gouda's okay, but it's not really my taste. Really? Yeah. Maybe I'm getting Gouda and Munster mixed up. One of them is, like, really bland. Yes, that Gouda, to me, is bland. Okay, then I think I'm getting the two mixed up. Yeah, I think I am. I think I am. I best say, like, Munster is salty. As, it's the reason I like it is because I love salt. Um, <laughs> it's healthy. <laughs> yeah, super healthy. My sodium levels are off the charts. The charts on uh, the floor from a heart attack. The chart itself had a heart attack. Yeah, um, so the fact when you said that it's a bland, I'm like, no, they do yeah. not have that then. I definitely got G- Munster and Gouda mixed up. I definitely did. Yeah, okay. So, so yeah, cheeses. I, I literally made this thinking, like, time for Nate to have a choice, and it was another fucking easy choice. <laughs> <laughs> telling you, man, it's just... Being, That's the way things go for me. You're just being blessed over here. Yep. All right. Easy. So that is the cheese wheel. We're going to move on to the next wheel. All right, Nate, next wheel. See a theme on this one? Yes, and I hate to tell you, but this is this is going to be super easy for me again. Nate, why is I tried to make these wheels as balanced as I possibly could. Between the both of us. I'm confused on this one. So this is... Because... What do you think it is? What are you confused about? Well, balance-wise, the only place I like on this is Red Robins. You you like Buffalo Wild Wings and... I've had Buffalo Wild Wings, like, twice. Okay. I tried to... This is casual dining restaurants. So not a, a step up from fast food. All right. To be... All right. Then I will... That is fair. I don't really go out to eat so it is a that would be a very difficult one okay for you to pick for. me i love the, all five of these places i love all five so i was thinking nate likes red robin i know that for a fact nate likes pasta i'll put olive garden on the list 
Me and Nate I don't have like go- Garden. We d- don't. Oh, come on, man. I don't. And uh, I was pasta like, Pasta House would be a better. Place yeah, but than- Pasta House is a St. Louis thing. People that are listening that are not from St. Louis don't know what that is. <laughs> so I put Olive Garden down there because it's everywhere. Uh, well. And in my head, I'm like. <laughs> If I put Pasta House, people won't know what that is. So let's put Olive Garden. Damn it. And then I was uh, like, Buffalo Wild Wings. Me and Nate have gone to Buffalo Wild Wings. So that should go on the list. You were one of the two times I went, yes. <sighs> okay, Nate, let's hope you don't get Red Robin and get something different. Here we go. Uh, okay. Don't get Red Robin, Nate. Just don't do it. How many times have you been to Applebee's? Uh, once, 20 years ago. 20 years ago? Why don't you so, go out to restaurants? I don't like to socialize with society. Yeah, but this is literally just you and the party you're with, and that's it. You could just go with your parents. People around me. Uh, How is it any I'll, different than going to, like, Taco Bell? Also, I don't think I liked Applebee's when I went. Uh, oh. So... Nate, you're killing me with these wheels, man. Off to a great one. I did so much prep time for these wheels, <laughs> thinking like, going through like, all right, man, what are we going to do? How are we going to make it equal? What what kind of list should I make? I, I spent hours putting these together, thinking like, I'm going to balance these perfectly. And you're like, <laughs> oh, yeah, no, I only like one of the five. Fucking Nate. <laughs> On to the next. <laughs> yeah, let's see what other one that's not Red Robin, hopefully. I should just probably take Red Robin off this list. The only one I get. No! No! Like. No! <laughs> no! Yeah! No! Why is the luck all not on my side? Nate, let's uh, let's spin again. Let's see what you get. <laughs> Why does it matter? Oh look, Nate, something you're not picking. You know what? I will. I'll do this. Uh, okay. Buffalo oh, Wing. I did like what. We had at Buffalo Wild Wings. Um, what did you get at Buffalo Wild Wings last time we went? I want to say it was like a burger. You went to Buffalo Wild Wings, known for their wings, and got a burger. I don't like wings. The only reason I went there was because you and Ty wanted to go. Yeah, that's true. That That's the reason I go to Red Robin, because I like burgers. <laughs> God. Oh, Nate, you're killing me. You're killing me I with don't, these lists. You're so killing me. You're killing here's me. The, huh, here's the hilarious thing about this list. Red Robins. I like Red Robins. Buffalo Wild Wings, been there twice. Olive Garden, don't like. Panera, don't like. You don't Apple like Panera? Beans. No. Applebee's, last time I was there 20 years ago, and I'm fairly certain didn't like. Uh, so. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> How can you not like Panera? You just finished saying you love sandwiches. Panera is known for their sandwiches. I don't like their sandwiches. But, uh, but I, it doesn't make any sense. Why? The, the, is it honestly, the bread? Is it the meat? What is it? It's a combination of both. Uh, <sighs> the bread just seems very dry, no you matter are, what bread I pick from them. You are out of your mind. And the meat, it just doesn't seem that great. Like, See, I love Panera, but I never go because I don't feel like spending $9,000 on a meal. Cause like, oh, yeah. I didn't even factor in price. Though. Yeah, really yeah. So Panera, as much money. as I love Panera, I don't ever go to Panera. I've gone to Panera like maybe like five or six times my entire life because last time I went, it was me, my my <coughs> son, and it was my wife. And the three of us alone, it was like almost $55 for three people out of quote-unquote casual dining. And I was like, this is... Like, a step up from, like, I don't even know, like, McDonald's. <laughs> like, I know it's a bad comparison, but, like, it has a drive through Panera has a drive through This should not be this much money. Yeah. Uh, it's like a steak and shake. This this wheel was fun. Shut up, Nate. <laughs> All right, well, it's my turn now, so at least mine will be a little tougher. Hopefully. There's, I like all three, all five of these, so there's nothing I don't like on this list. All right, but equally? Oh, boy. We're going to a strong start, Nate. Yeah. I don't know. Hey, hey, th- you never know. It depends on my mood and what I pick. Okay. So, 
I love Red Robin. Love Red Robin. And I just finished talking about how good Panera is. See, Panera for me, when I go there, I get a sandwich and I get a bread bowl. Oh, I love soup. And they have soup and bread. How could you not want that? <laughs> and then finally, on this I wheel. Go to Subway. Shut up, Nate. <laughs> Jimmy John's is so much better than Subway. To some. Olive Garden. Okay, so Olive Garden, Panera, and Red Robin. Okay, so much as I love Panera, I'm taking it off the list because, like I said, I don't want to spend a bajillion dollars at Panera. Okay. Olive Garden has absolutely fantastic pasta, but I do agree with you. I like Pasta House better. So I am going to go with Red Robin. I am going to agree with you on this one, Nate. Yep. We Red- agree on Marvel and Red Robin. <laughs> the reason we're such good friends. So, but the difference between you and me is that when you go to Red Robin, you get a what? Giant burger? Uh, Yes. Well, yeah, I guess it's a giant burger. When I go to Red Robin, I get a chicken spinach wrap. <laughs> that's my that's my go-to. I mainly go to Red Robin cuz they have bottomless french fries and that's the main reason I enjoy Red Robin. I am really wanting a Red Robin burger now. <laughs> you know, there's a there's also one more food wheel on this list, so don't worry. It might make you more hungry. <laughs> Let's see how well this one does. Well, we got one more before that. So yeah, oh, okay. that was the the casual dining restaurants. I thought again, I made this list balanced, and I was like, Nate's gonna like all five of these restaurants. Yeah, no. <laughs> all right, so on to the next wheel. All right, Nate, next wheel. Any themes you see on this one? Media. That is it. I have this one titled media. You no, get to I... get to pick between the media stuff. I tried to try to balance it out a little bit. A little bit of social media, a little bit of fun media, stuff like that. All the right, only I one see. that I see that is going to be an immediate no for you is Twitter, because I know you don't like Twitter. Uh, there's actually two. Oh, okay. So uh, Twitter and what? Spotify slash Apple Music. I, I don't. I know you I don't, don't listen to music there. that much, but I know if you use Spotify that often. I use. Uh, Amazon Prime Music. Oh, wow. You're one of the weirdos. Okay. Anyways, let's continue. <laughs> let's give you your spins. Hopefully this isn't a walk in the freaking park for you like it has been this whole podcast. Dang my Don't do it. Jo- don't do it. Okay. Good. Okay. I mean, TikTok. I don't really get on there often anymore, but it's still kind of You did? Hard. You're the one who made me download TikTok. Raceland, check out TikTok. Raceland. I'm going to share these TikToks with you. Raceland, you need to see TikTok. Because I figured you would like TikTok. And do you? Yeah, I do. But you don't get on it anymore. I recommend it. I recommend things people would enjoy, not things that I want them to enjoy. No, it's something you're supposed to enjoy with your friends. I mean, I still get on there occasionally, just like every couple weeks. Anyway. (laughs) My next spin, please. Next spin. Next spin is going to be something super hard, Nate. Here we go. <sighs> wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I, the one. Really, the only really one tough. I didn't want you to get. Okay. Really tough one right here. All right. Here we go. This one's going to be manga, comics, or YouTube. Here we go. The three I wanted you to get, but okay. All right, all right. There you go. Manga, okay. ma- okay, so you, you got manga, Twitter, and you got something else. I don't remember what it was. TikTok. TikTok. Oh, fuck it. <clears throat> God damn it. Huh. I wonder what I'll pick. Um, you know what I just realized? I accidentally had one ar- hidden. I had Disney Plus on there, and I accidentally had it hidden. Oh, but well, you want to do? You want to do it again? Nah, nah, it's fine. To be fair. Now nah, you're good. Okay, then manga. Yeah. Clean sweep. I know it's clean sweep. Fuck. <laughs> I thought I had Disney Plus unchecked as hidden, and apparently I didn't. So that's a to, bummer. To be fair, it wouldn't have made a difference if I'd gotten manga. What if um, you gotten manga and comics and YouTube? Those are the three I wanted you to get. Yeah, YouTube and manga, 
and yeah, comics. I don't read too many comics anymore. What about uh, Netflix? I feel like Netflix is a big thing for you. That is, yeah, it's true. I do watch a lot of Netflix. So, all right, let, let's pretend we spun the wheel. You, you get YouTube, manga, and Netflix. Between those three, what would you affect? <laughs> now we have to cheat. Yeah, cheating. Here, hold Just on, hold on, me, hold on, man. Nate. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, we're gonna cheat. We're gonna cheat. Oh, uh, what's happening, Nate? What's happening? Oh no, the <laughs> wheel. The wheel is going crazy. All right, Nate. Oh no, what are you getting? <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Hmm, which one do you get to keep? You get to keep Netflix. You good with that? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Uh, manga, I'll, uh, manga is what I would have picked, honestly. Manga, out of the three? Yeah. I consume so much more manga than I do either of the other two. I'm still so bummed. Like, you got Twitter. God damn it. <laughs> yeah, what is Twitter? I don't even think I have a Twitter account. Honestly. You do. Do I? I think so. <laughs> like I, I'm, I must have because I think you're you're not the only person who says I have Twitter. I guess either I have Twitter and someone hacked it. Nate, <laughs> using of course you have Twitter. You're on Twitter all the time, following the Lime and Wolf podcast on Twitter. It's at Lime Night seventy four. Anybody who wants to follow us, go ahead and follow us right there at Lime Night seventy four. Like I do. Yes, like Nate does because he uses Twitter all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Not a shameless plug. Anyways, let's go ahead and get my spins in. I feel like this is going to be much more difficult for me because I use all of these me medias all the time. Unless, except it's manga. Okay. Right off the bat, we're going to have a very difficult choice on our hands. Yep. Uh, YouTube is it's you a difficult one. YouTube against, like, other things. If I get... There's one specific one I'm looking at. If I get that, it, uh, dude, I don't know what I'm going to pick. <laughs> to be honest, the two I used the most in my entire day. Oh, God. Is it going to? No. Oh, I thought it was going to give it to me. I was like, oh, no. All right, YouTube and TikTok. Okay. Still have a clear winner here. TikTok is great, but YouTube is an essential at this point in life, isn't it? Yes. Uh... At least in my experience. Okay, Twitter. I love Twitter. Twitter is my favorite of, like, the three big social medias, like Twitter, Facebook, and, like, I don't know. I, I can't even think of a third one. Twitter, Facebook, and I guess, like, what, Reddit, I, don't, I guess. <laughs> but I could... Instagram. Instagram, yeah, that's the big three. You're right. I have other medias. Honestly, the one I was talking about, if it was YouTube versus podcasts... I'd have a very difficult time because I listen to podcasts literally every day. How I spend my day at work is I listen to podcasts and then I switch over to YouTube. So it's like, if I'm not listening to music on YouTube, I'm listening to podcasts. So it's like... Podcasts I, would might have been a difficult one for me. Um, <clears throat> but mainly, I, I got YouTube, so it's fine. <laughs> just kind of depends on like what your definition of a podcast is like. I listen to a lot of D and D campaign podcasts. Yeah. So that would have been difficult, but also I'm not sure if you would consider those actual podcasts. No, of course, yeah, they're podcasts. Okay. Well, Nate. Oh. If people now I don't be able to listen to our own podcast. Exactly. I was gonna say if people got podcast didn't pick podcasts, they wouldn't be able to listen to the Lime and Wolf podcast. And yep. nobody wants to do that. Everybody has to pick podcasts. Go check us out on podcasts, Apple Pod and Spotify. That I don't to. <laughs> Shut up, Nate. So yeah, that is the next, the, <laughs> the next wheel. All right, we're moving on to the next wheel. All right, Nate. Any guesses on what the next wheel is? Uh, let's see here. Something about food. Okay, but any specific of what would this list be called? Hmm. Think about appetizers. it. Appetizers. That is right. I had to think of the word, actually. What made me, what inspired me to pick this wheel was that when we go to Red Robin, you always order a different appetizer. So I'm like, hey, let's see what appetizer Nate would pick. <laughs> <laughs> that's why a couple of these are like, I would never order these, but I've seen you order them. So that's why they're on the list. 
Yes, because I do like to try new things, and uh, there is a clear winner on here again. <laughs> I know. Uh, but there are, like, I'd say at least two that would be good for competing-wise, anyway. I remember one time me, you, and Ty went all went to uh, Red Robin, and all we ordered, like, meals. And you're just like, I want the appetizer of the donuts... And I want some fried green beans. And I'm like, that's all you're getting? He goes, that's a meal to me. I'm like, what are you talking about? Yeah. <laughs> Donuts I, and I green don't... beans. All right, that's your dinner. I don't eat a lot. Uh, <laughs> but I do love flavor. I like trying new things. <laughs> all right, so Nate, let's, I don't, what is your number one? I, mm, I think I know what it is. Let's see if you get it or not. All right, Nate, your first pick. What would you keep? Is I'm pretty sure you're number one. Yep. Uh, Insta wing for the win. No. <laughs> but let's see if we can get the competitors. Because I said there are two on here that would be good competing. Ones. I should just take off the ones I just know are instant wins for you. That's such. That's such a, <laughs> you've gotten your number one on every single wheel, man. Uh yeah. The wheel loves me. Do you even I, like egg rolls? No, this is actually an insta lose. <sighs> no egg rolls. There's like multiple different types of egg rolls. You don't like any egg rolls. None that I've tried. Oh my god. God. <sighs> All right, Nate. Let's see what else you get. <laughs> All right. Your last one is another one that you don't like. Yeah, because I hate beer cheese. But... I will say I do love me some pretzels. Uh, but what would you go with it? Huh? What you don't like beer cheese? What would you get with it? I I just like pretzels uh, by themselves. Are you are you talking soft pretzels or are you talking crunchy pretzels? Crunchy pretzels. Uh, no, soft pretzels. No. If it's soft pretzels, I would actually prefer uh, cinnamon cream cheese. Cream cheese with pretzels. Yep, it's a really good dipping sauce for soft pretzels. That sounds nasty. You Cinnamon with, cream cheese. I'm you not, need I'm to not go with, You need to either go with beer cheese, which is like the go-to cheese at almost all restaurants, or you go with just like cheddar or queso or some kind of like dip. Cream cheese? Come on, Nate. What do you think? Cinnamon cream cheese. It's a good thing. Just like chocolate and pretzels. All right, so what was your other cont- contender? Uh, the two contenders actually was... Loaded nachos and fried green beans. I see the fried green beans is the reason I even made this list because I saw you order them. Yeah. Uh, what about hush puppies? Have you ever had a hush puppy? Yeah. Uh, oh, those are good. Hush puppies are a hit and miss for me. It really just depends really? on who makes them. No. Uh, chicken wings. Not a big fan of chicken wings. I'm more of a chicken leg guy. Chicken hate wings. onion rings. You do. Not a big oh. fan of eggs in a blanket. I hate onion rings too. I if I would have known that, I wouldn't have put it on the list. I don't like onions. I don't either. Um, I just, I didn't know if you liked onion rings or not. It's just a standard staple upon appetizers, so I put it on the list. Also, uh, chicken quesadilla would be a good one. All right, so I'm going to take off the ones that I don't like just for the fun to make it a little harder. How does that sound? Sound good? Yep. There we go. The two I don't like. I, like, I don't like... Uh, all right. W- w- when you say loaded nachos, what do you think loaded nachos? What's all on the loaded nachos? Uh, for me, uh, we got like minced meat, uh, cheese, lo- a bunch of cheese, sour cream. Okay. Uh, maybe some lettuce. Depends on the mood, really. And you're talking obviously jalapenos, right, Nate? No, no, no jalapenos. <laughs> uh, that's pretty much it for me. See, for me, if I'm getting some loaded nachos, I want obviously tons of cheese. I want some like refried beans on there. I want some um, chicken on there. I want some um, maybe a little bit of like like hot sauce on there. That'd be pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'll just like it. Basically, the only thing I don't want is sour cream or jalapenos. To be honest, everything else is fine. I I hate sour cream. Oh, I love sour cream. I hate sour cream. All right, let's get to my picks. Like I said, the only two I took off is onion rings and pigs in a blanket because I don't like hot dogs much and I hate onions. So I put those on, seeing because I literally Googled most popular 
appetizers, and those two came up, so I threw them on the list. Okay. All right, so let's see what I get. Make it a little tougher. And this is loaded nachos. Hey, we were just talking about them. Nice. No, I, I love nachos, man. Now, if you're, nachos gonna, are great. if you're going nachos, you're obviously going nacho cheese, right? Mm, depends, really, again, on the mood. Because you're not a spicy guy, and sometimes my, uh, nacho cheese can be have a little spice to it. Yeah, I'm more of, like, spicy and, like, super spicy. I can handle some spice, just not a ton of it. What if they put queso cheese on there? Mm, again, depends on who made the queso cheese, because okay. I've had different... I've had queso cheeses that are, like, fire, almost, and then other queso cheeses actually don't feel any spice at all, so... Did you know, so a little side change, did you see that Doritos has a new cheese dip? Like, you could buy and mi- microwave it. I had it. It was actually really good. It's Doritos Spicy Cheese Dip. And they hmm. also have a Cool Ranch version as well. I did not. It's actually pretty dang good. You know what I did? I bought it and I used it to dip my french fries in. I'm a weirdo. Uh-huh. But yeah, so Loaded Nachos is my first pick. Let's see what my second pick would be. I'm hoping something really good. I like all this stuff, so. Chicken wings! Okay. Okay. Now, all the comments can come at me here, and they can all hate at me. If I'm going chicken wings, I am getting boneless chicken wings. Yes, I understand. They are glorified chicken nuggets. I don't really like bone-in meat. If I get chicken, I normally go for chicken breast to go for white meat. I don't like eating off the bone. So when I order chicken wings, I always get boneless. What about you, Nate? If you were to order chicken wings, would you get bone or boneless? Boneless. I don't like uh, bones, really. Yeah, so you're like me. You don't like eating off the bone. Yeah. See? like The only time I like eating off of the bone is a leg, like a chicken leg, turkey leg, and that's there's something primal about <laughs> go to six flags it. get yourself a giant turkey leg and eat that off the bone yeah like it, there's something about it that just calls to you like it's weird <laughs> he's such a weirdo all right so that's my my two picks so far have been loaded nachos and chicken wings and my final spin we get do 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 oh Chicken quesadillas. Now, these are good. Have you ever had chicken quesadillas? Yes. I, I mentioned earlier that I like them. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, yeah, that's... Ooh, two chickens and some nachos. Man. Ooh, that... Chicken quesadillas are great, but I can get those at, like, Taco Bell if ever need to be instead of getting them as an appetizer. Hmm. It's, it's a torn between... Chicken wings or nachos? As much as I talked up nachos, I think I'm going nachos, man. Get some nice loaded nachos. Like I said, throw a bunch of chicken and hot sauce and free fried beans and stuff on there. Ooh, man, so good. Would you ever eat my nachos, Nate? Probably not. Now, if I took off the hot sauce, would you try it? Maybe. Okay, so the hot sauce would be the killer for you. Yeah. Oh, see, I love, dude. I would take my Cholula bottle and I'd like turn it upside down and just slap it like ten times. That, yeah, that just does not sound <laughs> good. Anyway. Yeah, Cholula hot sauce. Anybody who wants some really good taco sauce, there you go. So yeah, that is the appetizer wheel. Hope I was hoping it'd be a lot harder, but no. Some guy had to go and get mozzarella sticks as his like number two pick. What can I say? The universe loves me. Now, does it? I think you're just cheating. I think you're over there manipulating the wheel with your powers. Yep, that's exactly what I'm doing. Uh, <laughs> the powers we got from the last power pick. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly. You're like, I'm now the master in, of the wheels. <laughs> All right, so we'll move on to our final wheel. Any ideas, any guesses of what it could be? Uh, uh No. Yeah, it's been all over the place, hasn't it? Yeah. This last one, I swear, to, I might just take off one of yours because it's an obvious pick. You know what? I'm taking off the obvious pick for you, okay? Nah, I okay. won't do that. That's cheating. I'll just I'll leave it on there. All right, let's move on to the final wheel. 
All right, Nate, the final wheel is going to be supernatural monsters across all media. What I mean is basically whatever you get, whatever you pick, anything that has to is related to that, you can't watch anything about that. So any movies or TV shows, so, say, say you got zombies, that means you can never watch The Walking Dead or, or any TV shows based on it or anything like that. Oof, okay. So same thing with vampires. Anything to do with vampires? Anything to do with the swamp creatures? Like, like the, what? What'd you call That's it? The the, the creature from creature. the Black Lagoon. Yes. Uh, that okay. So this is going to be a bit more difficult. So yeah. So whatever you pick, you could get your number one, which is werewolves, obviously, because you're the Lyman Wolf podcast. But that means if you pick werewolves, any movies or TV shows that have vampires, angels, demons, zombies, you can't ever see them again. I'm so there is only two of these that you and I can actually pick. What's that? Uh, we can only pick Swamp Creature or Frankenstein's Monsters. Why? Because supernatural has everything else in it no because you could just not watch supernatural that's what i'm saying like we would be forced to not watch supernatural if yeah, we but picked i've any. already seen supernatural i don't need to go through it what? again if need be like that would I, you you know you're gonna want to watch it again who knows but we're gonna discuss it so let's give you your first pick nate hopefully you don't land on werewolves because hey you might not be able to watch anything else. Well, I can just pick anything else, really. <laughs> You're going to get both, like, Frankenstein and Swamp Creature? Honestly, I'd want Swamp Creature, because I think... Ooh, that... mummies! Okay. There's a lot of good mummy movies out there, like The Mummy. <laughs> yeah, I can't pick mummies anyway. Um, what, what do you mean you can't pick mummies? My favorite TV show, Eureka, has a mummy episode. Oh, yeah? I mean, you could watch the entire show... You just can't watch that episode. Oh, okay. So okay, yeah, that makes it's, things a lot more simpler then. Yeah, because if 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 it, you can't watch anything related to it, so that means if the show is about something else and that episode is mummies, you just skip that episode. Yeah. Okay. But and I that, see what you that, mean by supernatural. That kind of <laughs> most of those, like especially you get like angels or demons, you're kind of screwed on supernatural. Yeah, that that makes this a lot easier to pick then okay so thank you for making it easier for me right now. damn it no no i, I take it back <laughs> all right your second pick is i've or oh mummies like oh, oh. oh werewolves okay i have so a feeling far, i feel like you know i know what you're picking nate <laughs> so far uh mummies oh you're picking mummies you're going to keep mummies I thought you said I lose no, everything. You, you only get to keep one. Okay. That's the Re whole point. Reiterate the rules. The whole point of it is you're picking one you keep. All the other ones are gone. Okay. I misunderstood the point of this one then. Yes. I thought you were saying it's reversed so that whatever one you pick is the one you're getting rid of for good. No. The one you pick is the only ones you can keep. Oh, well, then, yeah. Werewolf's done. Easy. Well, we'll see what your final pick is, Nate. Let's see what, let's see it again. No werewolves. No, Nate. Let's see. You never know. You, you means you can't oh, no. see the mummy movies. Vampires, Nate. Vampires. Werewolves. Nate, come on, man. Vampires. Werewolves. Nate. <laughs> Nate. I, I love the fact that I tried to make this more difficult for myself, but you <sighs> kept making it easier. All right, Nate, let's go back to your final rules. Let's go to your first rule. What are you going to pick? <laughs> if it was the first rule, then I would go with mummies. Okay, because of Eureka. Yeah. And you'd be well, cool with losing all the werewolf stuff. No, okay, that's what I'm saying. My first rules were thinking that whatever I picked is what I would be losing. All right, here's a question. So we're going to stick with what I said. The rules is you keep one, the rest are gone wearables okay but you said remember i told you if it has mummy there's one episode of mummies in the show yeah, you just skip that, that episode. episode pretend yeah. that didn't happen pretend if there's a mummy in that episode in that show can't watch the entire show does it change anything werewolves no werewolves still because <laughs> still <they're>... werewolves. 
Uh, I'm trying to make this so a difficult many, choice. Why'd you get werewolves, man? <laughs> there's so many other things about werewolves that I like. Rather, like, yes, I love Eureka, but I've already seen it, and I've seen it almost every single year since it's been canceled. So I've memorized almost every episode. So I don't <laughs> really need to watch it again. Oh, Nate. I tried to make this hard, and then you found loopholes and just ruined everything. Uh, I tried to make things hard, and you <laughs> kept correcting me. Shut up, Nate. <laughs> this is a test run. I'm learning, okay? Uh-huh. All right, let's pick my final spins. <laughs> uh, oh, damn it. Why would you get werewolf? Yeah, that, that did make things super easy. I know. That seems to be the, the pattern I see. Angels! Okay. Okay. My immediate thought was like, oh no, I can't watch Angel. And I'm like, oh, that's a vampire. It doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just named Angel. <laughs> right. So I was like, oh no. I was like, oh. Wait, Although, I'm safe. That does cancel out like a ton of. If I don't pick Angels, it cancels out all of Supernatural. Like, I would say the first three seasons of Supernatural is all I can watch. Probably, yeah. Because then you have Castiel joining up. And then and... that just, like, every episode has Castiel. <laughs> so, yeah, Angels. Oh, boy. Okay. I'm the opposite of you. If I get one specific one, you know what I'm picking, right, Nate? Probably, yes. <laughs> Am I going to get it? No. Ooh. Mummies again. Mummies. That's a good pick, though. It is. Because, like I said, I'm a big sucker for the Mummy franchise. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. It's all gonna depend on this final Plus, spin. Wasn't there like a? Let's see here. One. <laughs> Frankenstein's. Well, that's okay. Frankenstein monster. <laughs> that one's out. I don't care about that one. I honestly just put that on the list because I couldn't think of any monsters. Yeah, so angels and mummies are the computers. Mm. So if I would have gotten vampires, it's an easy dub. That's like you with werewolves. I've stated yeah. before in previous podcasts, I love vampire stuff. That's like an immediate dub. But angels and mummies. Let's break this down. So if I pick angels, that means I get supernatural. I get... What other like huge things have angels in it? Like I guess John Constantine, the movie John Constantine has it. Uh, yes. Lucifer. Anything with John Lucifer? That counts, yeah. Um. Any other her. big things other than, like, any angelic stuff? I mean, Lucifer and Supernatural are two of the big franchises I love. Yeah. I'm trying to think of video games as well. Oh, I didn't think of video games, yeah. And comic but books? Anything that has to do with angels and comic books? Now, do you count Archangel from the X Men as no? An because angel? no, because he's not an, a literal angel. He's, he's not just, a children yeah, of just, God. He's just a mutant. Yeah. Well, technically. Shut up! Don't even all. don't even get into that. <laughs> um. So yeah, and then with, if we switch over to mummies, we got the mummy mummies, franchise. That's pretty much it. Like I can't think of anything else. So it boils down to if I want to continue the Mummy franchise or like Supernatural and Lucifer. And the Mummy franchise is literally just one franchise, whereas Angels spread out across multiple franchises. I know, but the, the Mummy movies are so good. Ah! Is it, all right, convince me for Mummies. Like, what would what would make Mummies the winner? Um... Brendan Fraser's making a comeback, so maybe they'll do another Mummy movie. Besides the Mummy franchise, is there any other things that have the mummies in it? Oh. Uh, no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. I don't, can't think of anything. <laughs> All right. Reluctantly, I will have to go Angels because, like you said, it has spread more across media. I like, really, I was really torn because of the Mummy franchise because it's one of my favorite mum like franchises. Yeah, but it doesn't like it. It just isn't enough. Yeah, I the mummy. Like I can think of a couple of other games and stuff, but you don't play them. Like League of Legends has a mummy character. Yeah. Um. And then there is a mummy in Fortnite. True, but again, if I just don't get the skin, or would that count? If there's a mummy in Fortnite, can I just not play Fortnite? 
you cannot like I would say you couldn't because it or you don't know if you'll be teamed up with someone who has that skin. Oh, that's true. You're right. Are there angels in Fortnite? Is there any angel characters? Um that are specifically angels. Yes. Okay, so I guess I, guess I can play that cuz of a big angels. Yes. Uh there are angelic Although or, no, I can't. Fortnite's off the table regardless. Because for if everybody you pick one you can't pick the exactly. Other. So that means no matter what, you just can't play Fortnite. Because there's demons, angels, zombies, werewolves. There's almost everything on this list is in Fortnite. What was it? I got mummies, werewolves, and what was the third one I got? Mummy there's uh, mummies, angels. You got Frankenstein's. Oh no, is that me? No, that was me. You got Frankenstein. You got werewolves, you got mummies, and I think you got... Did you get zombies? No, you didn't get zombies. I don't, I don't remember. I don't got, honestly. I don't remember. Anyway, uh, yeah, Fortnite would basically be gone yeah. no matter what. All um, right. Yeah, that that's it, though. Yeah. So, I guess we're at the end of the podcast. Nate, what did you think of this? There's a little trial run of a new wheel style. What was your thoughts? It was interesting. Uh, we definitely could polish it a bit better. <laughs> yeah, it, like I said, it's a trial run. Um, uh, we a don't little have bit more feedback between the two of us so that I, it's not quite so easy for me next yeah, time. Yeah, I know. Again, I was trying to just do this quickly because yeah. uh, this was kind of sprung on, me, on you because our original podcast, we weren't able to record this weekend, so I decided to throw this into the mix. That's why we have no comments because I didn't post anything about it. It's a trial run. If you guys enjoy it, we might do more. We might if you leave a comment below if you guys like the style of podcast with the wheels, and we might do yeah. more. Maybe suggest something to us because I have hard try. I have a hard time trying to think of ideas for these. So if anybody listening has an idea for what we could talk about and spin the wheel, let us know so we can make it, make it a reality. And if Nate, if you ever have an idea, let me know too. Okay. Yeah, I can do that. All right. Any other comments or concerns about the podcast today, Nate? Nope. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for listening, and we'll see you guys on the next podcast. See you later.